Two billion people on Earth still don't have access to electrical power, like the 1,500 inhabitants of Tuckalau, three lonely atolls in the middle of the Pacific, the largest ocean on Earth. You couldn't be further away from a power grid. 500 islanders live on each atoll, not more than a small village. Until two years ago, diesel generators provided the islands with power for household appliances. 2,000 oil drums per year had to be shipped 500 kilometers from Samoa and manhandled from the freighter onto the island. Cost per year, about $1 million. That is, until the Tokyo Lions found the most obvious solution. The sun, the most powerful energy source available on our planet. It releases more energy per second than all nuclear power plants worldwide could produce in 750,000 years. And if you are close to the equator like Tokelau, the sun gives away its energy even more generously. That's why, with the help of technicians from New Zealand, the Tokelauans pulled up their sleeves and installed three solar power plants, one on each atoll, with a combined output of one megawatt. Enough to switch off the diesel generators and make a better use of the empty oil containers as drums for a folk dance. Over 4,000 solar panels have been installed. Hundreds of battery inverters that convert the solar current into alternating current. They are the core of the installation and guarantee a secure, reliable and independent power supply. Over 1,300 batteries with 8,000 kilowatt capacity store the surplus. Thereby, Tokelau has not only the largest off-grid power plant in the world, Tokelauans can also be proud to be the first nation on Earth to go 100% solar, setting an example for the world. A technician from New Zealand controls the plant from a laptop. We have the ability to um, completely control this computer from, from overseas. So if there is ever a fault or a problem that they have a question on, we can dial into the computer, um, help diagnose the, the problem. The old generators still serve as backup, but nobody wants to go back to using them again. I remember uh, when I first came here in uh, 1987, there was only about six hours power a day, if you were fortunate. Um, so since the um, 11,000 volt uh, energy has been um, provided, uh, they've sort of become quite accustomed to um, the use of energy. Of course, kids watch more TV now, but 24 hours of power a day also means that the internet is always on and Tucker Lounge are not as isolated from the world anymore. For example, this young girl is able to take on an online language course at a New Zealand university without having to travel the 36 hours by ferry and another three hours by plane. And at last, Tokelans can afford to have fridges and freezers. The days of fresh catch of fish rots away because of a power outage are long gone. With its switch to solar, Tokelau now holds the number one spot worldwide by having achieved the greatest reduction in fossil fuel use in percent, largest reduction in carbon emissions per person, using more renewable energy than any other country or place. It's great to see a community like this reducing their reliance on fossil fuels um, and the amount of time it frees up at least to have to have someone sitting here maintaining and watching diesel generators all the time and now they're out fishing. More and more islands in the Pacific want to follow Tokelau's lead by switching to solar energy. Little Tokelau has shown them the way. <laughs>